Hello everyone, today I thought we would take a look at this error that just popped up. The classic light maps are overlapping error. So we'll take a look at how to fix this in a number of applications today. We'll start off with Unreal 4 by itself. So first I'll shut this down. I'll go to my static mesh, open it up like this. As you can see I only have one UV channel and it's been mirrored. So we'll just generate light map UVs. Here we could also switch our minimum light map resolution if we wanted that. I'll apply my changes. At once I get a second UV channel, perfect for light mapping. Unreal will not use this as a light map channel, however, not until you go to static mesh settings and click this show advanced. Then here under light map coordinate index, I will select one and save that, shut this down. I will press build and be back as soon as it's done. And there you see the light map has been perfectly built. Now let's take a look at how we could do this in a different application. We'll start off with 3D Studio Max. All right, so here we are in 3D Studio Max. I'll just go to Unwrap UVs. And you can see here in my map channel one, which will be map channel zero in Unreal, that I have my original UVs. And then in map channel two, which will turn into map channel one, in this case, I'll just move the UVs. Uh, that means it'll just copy them. I'll open the UV editor. And here I'll select everything. Down here you can find pack normalize. And that's what I'll do. I'll just pack them like this so you can see that it works. Now Max has automatically placed these for me. For a sharp project, you'd obviously want to pack these way better, but for demonstration purposes and for the sake of speed, this will be good enough. Next, I'll just collapse this and go to export selected, GGJ character FPX, overwrite yes, okay. Now I'll head into Unreal and then I'll drag and drop this into my folder here, just import it. Drag it in. Material works like on the other one. And then I will build. And then you can see the light build is complete. Let's just open this up and check it. UV channel one. There you have it. Same thing. Next, we'll jump over to Maya. Now we'll fix this in Maya. I'll select the character. Go to UV set editor, create a new one, which I will rename L2. Doesn't really matter, but I like it that way. Next, I'll go to the UV editor. I'll go to UV channel one, polygons, copy UVs to channel two. Now I'm here and my has automatically selected the polygons for me. So I will go to unfold. Default should be fine. It'll work a little bit. And once that's done, we'll go to layout. You can do something like prescale to the object and percentage space, oh, something like that. And we'll lay out the UVs. That looks good enough. So let's go and export it. Sadly, I've run into the FBX export problem, uh, probably because that mesh was from Max originally with a Max rig. So what I'll do is I'll export this instead. I've done the exact same things with it. As you can see here in the UV editor, I'll just parent this and delete all of this stuff. Next, I'll hold down control and right click so that I can delete my history before exporting. Export my selection to export import Gigi character FBX. Export, yes, please. Now I'll open up my project. All right, so now I'll drag and drop this in here. I'll just import it as always. Drag it in and we'll check it out first. See here, first channel, second channel. All right, let's build. And there you have it, barely any problems at all. Last but not least, here we are in Blender. The first thing I'm going to do is to select my character, hold control and press F and then Shade Smooth, since I imported this from Max, all of the smoothing groups will have been reset. Next, I'll hold down my left mouse button and drag this out so that I get myself a second window. Left click and hold, 
left mouse button and select UV image editor. To make things easier, I'll make sure to turn on the same selection on mesh and UVs feature. I just did this because my character was already selected and to show you that it exists. Next we'll head into object data. I will clone my UV channel by pressing the plus key and rename that channel 2. Make sure that I have the second channel here. And now I'll simply hold down control and press P to pack my islands. The UVs of the head halves have somehow been merged together during the import. So I'll just fix that off screen and be right back. If I'd made this model in Blender, this would definitely not have happened. So don't worry about it too much. Anyway, now you just hold down control and left mouse and button drag to select everything again. And hold down control and P to pack everything. I'll also increase the margin to allow for some light map padding. And that's everything. Now let's go to file and export FBX. In my case, I need this one to be a hundredth of the size. I'll export with face smoothing on and just export the FBX. Next, I'll go to my project, drag and drop the Blender FBX in here. Import, drag it into the scene. The material looks like it should. And let's build lighting. Perfect. As you can see, if we go into our static mesh here, everything looks the way it should. I hope this was helpful to you all. And if you learned something or just liked the video, please like and subscribe and look forward to more of these. Also, check out our blog at kjinteractive.net. And with that, I wish you good luck in your future devving endeavors. Bye.